Hello everyone, hello and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. If you don't know what this game is about, go and watch my gaming look at, because I will explain there, well, what is this game about. Oh, it can be explained in just two words. Dinosaurs Survivor. Yeah, so they are dinosaurs. Uh, I can't see anything in the beach where I started, so that's good-ish. <laughs> so yeah, I decided to uh, make a full series, but I want you... Uh, but I want to get this series in way of a little explaining and just showing you what you can do, how to do, and basically like that. So it will go it's gonna be a little bit like uh, if you remember my Worm Online series. Uh, so it will be pretty much as uh, let's learn together series so welcome to kinda uh, yeah welcome to episode one of how to survive in the ark in the hostile islands of ark and first of all i would like to start with uh, some basic explanation on the hood which you can see right now on the right side i'm going to zoom out in it so we have one two three four five six different symbols each has oh its own meaning so let's go from the top we have an XP bar, uh, which is showing up uh, our current uh, experience level. When it's filled up, we will gain a level. Then we have a little weight, which is signifies our uh, carrying capacity. Then it's a little water droplet, which it's showing us how hydrated we are. Then we have a little, well, kind of huge chunk of meat which is our food or hunger and then the a little thunder or uh, yeah thunder is our stamina more we will run around get killed or just do stuff it will drop down and last one is a little plus icon which is our health and we have seen a first dinosaur a little big turtle ish dinosaur yay so that's the first explanation of the hood. Uh, you might notice also these little, really diff weird looking beams. Uh, they are su uh, survival, no, supply drops. Uh, basically, it's you can't see it from the distance or not even from. Oh, this one just disappeared. Okay, uh, these guys they are su supply drops. Uh, when you see that and it's kind of closer to it you are cl kind of closer to it you want to get there because they will, it will contain good uh, stuff uh, well ma mostly materials but hey materials for free without any hard feelings why the heck not just but be careful if you go next to it uh, there is uh, quite a big chance that uh, other players if you are playing on the multiplayer server will want it as well so be prepared to either well, be lucky and run away with everything, or just be prepared to uh, fight for your supplies. Okay, so let's get started. First thing you want really to do is to start collecting, and uh, collecting you want to collect a stone. Also, you can see if I will go ne next to the stone, a little hand icon will pop out on the hood which means uh, it's collectible, so when it appears you can press E to collect. There we go. So stone, it's really important first things is stone. And when you are collecting, be careful to not get attacked by those little buggers called Dilophosaurus. They like inhabit uh, beaches, so there might be a lot of them around. Fortunately, I don't see any. Uh, next thing you want to collect is wood and some fiber. To collect wood, you just really want to get next to the tree and start punching it with your fist. You will be getting thatch and hopefully some wood. Hmm. Also, as you can see, as I'm punching the tree, uh, the sim uh, my energy is dropping down and also my health because it hurts to hit a tree with your fist 
So just bear that in mind. And we have leveled up. Awesome. Hey, okay, got first wood. That's great. And I think we are good to go with just one wood. And to get fiber. Fiber is from plants or grass. So just walk next to the grass and just hold E. Come on. Hold E to grab everything from it. There we go. In the end it will break. So... Oops. And you will be getting fiber, some berries, and some berries and berries and lots of berries. <laughs> it's kind of annoying to get all the berries every time. And it doesn't matter from which you will collect stuff. It's always going to be randomized. Come on. Okay. So now I think we can tr go and open up our interface, uh, our crafting interface and get some crafting done. Uh, also, uh, you don't need to punch uh, big trees. You can just punch these little stumps. It's also fine. Come on, yeah. sometimes it's taking a really long time. And also uh, trees lying already on the ground. You can also punch and get some wood and thatch. You can see that you are getting way more thatch than wood, which is, yeah, which is normal. And by the way, be careful to not kill yourself <laughs> whilst you are punching the tree. It would be kind of embarrassing. Okay, so I guess it's time to look at our inventory. So just press I, it will open up the inventory. Uh, let's see what we have. I will go quickly through all these boxes. We have crafting queue, inventory items, crafting recipes, quick item slots, our character, equipped items like head, torso, basic clothing, some statistics, and last one is our our personal stats with experience. So since we have gotten a level up by just punching a tree, let's level up. So basically, so how you are actually getting levels is quite simple. Just survive and you will get level. You can stand right in here and you can see it right now. It's slowly climbing by 0 0.1. Uh, if we are just standing there and not doing anything. Yeah, so you can even level up by not doing check shit all. So let's see what we can level up. Uh, I suggest uh, at the start you really don't need to move faster or be really uh, strong. You want to survive, so the best few things to learn, well, to upgrade is health, stamina, wood and maybe water. Water is not that needed because you are going to spend your first days on the beach and there is plenty of water. Don't worry, it doesn't matter, it, it's salt water. Well, maybe it isn't salt, who knows? So I'm going for the health and when you level up you will also get a chance to increase your engrams or earn engrams. Uh, what engrams are, it's uh, crafting recipes and you spend, you spend points to learn them. Quite simple as that, you gain every level 8 points, so let's see what we can learn. First things first, you want tools, so hatchet to chop down wood from trees, stone from rocks and skin from bodies. That's exactly what we want. Uh, if I will look at the time, it's 5 in, in the, uh, five p.m. in here, so we, can, we don't need to learn campfire. So I guess I will go for a spear to protect ourselves a little bit. Okay, and we have two left over, which we can't use for anything. And yes, you heard and read correctly, we have defecated. Uh, where is it? There it is. Our little human feces. Little poop. Everyone poops. Indeed. You can collect it and you can use it for fertilizing your gardens. But, well, we don't have any gardens, so let's just leave it in here, decompose, and just... Maybe someone else will pick it up. It will decompose in just a few minutes, a uh, few seconds, so it's fine. Back to the inventory. So, what is the first thing you want to craft? Is a stone pick. Stone pick will allow you to harvest flint from rocks, thatch from trees, and meat from bodies. We are mainly um, after uh, rock fr uh, flint from stone because 
Oh, sorry, I need to change my keybinds. There is a little issue with keybinding, and that uh, if you have, if you don't have uh, English key keyboard, it's going to uh, not work the quick slots. As you can see, I'm pressing one and nothing is happening. So just give me a second. There we go, much better. So we just press one and we have our pick, and we will walk towards the nearest rock and just start hitting it. We will get occasionally stone, but more of a flint. And when it's done, it will just explode around. S rocks will just fly around the place. Which is, yeah. <laughs> so let's collect a little bit of flint. Because next piece, what we really want to make, is a hatchet. And for a hatchet, we need flint. Wow, there's quite a lot of stone in this little bugger. Okay, next one is a stone hatchet for which you need flint, wood and thatch. So let's craft it. There we go. And each crafting process will raise your XP by one. So yeah, you want to craft. Even I, right now, uh, I would suggest you just go, or go away and craft lots of stone pickaxes. They are cheap to make, really cheap to make one stone, one wood, ten, ten thatch, or the stone hatchets, and just skill up. Just skill up. There is no need to not. <laughs> so, uh, we have our stone hatchet, which I can get and chop down the trees. And you can see, I'm getting lots and lots of wood, a little bit of thatch, but mainly we are getting wood. There we go. And if you will struggle uh, on getting or uh, amounts of thatch, you can just equip your pickaxe and start hitting the tree. And as you can see, we are getting more thatch than wood. And same goes with the stone. If you will walk next to it and you will use pickaxe, you will get more of a flint. If you will use hatchet, you will get more of a stone. So let's get a little bit of stone, there we go. And, oh! One of these supply drops has appeared next to us, so let's go near it. As you can see, it's all the way on top of there. So it's going to slowly descend down. And when it reaches the ground, we can go and collect it. In the meantime, let's collect also some stone. It's getting down. I guess we can't, yeah, can't uh, interact with it because it's all the way up there. So uh, let's clear this uh, way, so it can, it has a way to drop and it will not glitch out on us, because I saw it happen a few times. Okay, uh, how am I doing on wood? We have 31 wood, uh, 54 thatch, so let's get more wood from this tree as well. And just uh, to let you know, it doesn't matter how big the tree looks. Currently, all the trees are the same. Well, kind of the same. Uh, it's randomized, so some of the trees will give you more materials. Some of them will give you less. Okay, it's almost down there, so let's wait for it to drop. And in the meantime, we can just craft ourselves a spear. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's make two spears. So you can queue it up, and you can even close up your inventory and walk around. You will walk slowly, but you will still be crafting, which is really neat. Oh, and the supply drop is right in here. So let's get my spear, and my hotbar, uh, let's do it properly so I have everything where I want it to have, there we go. Uh, you can notice also the hatchet and pick, they have a durability bar underneath it, and when it will drop down, it will break. And the spear doesn't have any. The spear uh, is either fine or totally broken. So, yeah. And the supply drop is here. So let's see what is in it. <gasps> oh, we can't open it. Yes, uh, some supply drops requires a level higher than you are. So this one requires 25, which is kind of shame we can't open it. And also, you will notice that uh, 
the beam has a different color from time to time and the color is signifying the level needed to open uh, the supply drop. So um, I think it's green and blue currently. Maybe there is a red, but I'm not sure. I haven't saw, saw it uh, as far as I know. And the green one is a low level which you can mostly open up right away. Okay, and you can see on top of our screen we are having getting a lot of uh, spoiled uh, information. Uh, when you will have your food in your inventory or in a crate or anywhere collected, it will spoil in 10 minutes. So make sure to eat it before it spoils. And next thing what you should be aware of, there are a couple of different kinds of berries. There are five of them, I think. We have azzleberry, which is normal berry you can freely eat without any hard feelings. So let's eat them all. Uh, we have tinto berries, same as the blue ones. You can eat them whenever you want. Major berries. Uh, they are not tasty, so they will not fill up your food on their own that much. But if you will use them in the cooking recipes, it's going to improve it quite a lot. Armor berries, uh, same as the blue one and the red one. You can eat them right away. And last one, oh, we have steam berries, which are, uh, well, kinda your uh, really in a pinch, as you can see, it's written on there. It will recover food, stamina, and lose torpidity, but it will dehydrate us. Uh, if you are not aware of to what torpidity is, don't worry. Uh, you will find out pretty soon, but, well, because, well, I'm feeling nice to you. Uh, torpidity is your consciousness level. Right now you can see it on on zero. And we have leveled up oh, again. Oh, nice. Uh, the topper is currently at zero. Uh, the more, the higher it will be, uh, the more uh, knocked out you will be. If it will reach 200, you will get knocked out and you will be unconscious. So the steam berries can lower it down. But of course, when you are uh, unconscious, you can't eat. So you will need to hope that someone will go around and feed you with steam berries. But as noted, they will dehydrate you. All right, so uh, let's level up. Let's level up again a uh, health, and we have now eight more ten engrams. So we have now ten. What's next? We want to get is a campfire. And you might think, what a skin to get water? Uh, no, you can literally drink water from the ocean on its own. So the next few pieces, which is one, two, three, four, five pieces, you want to get are cloth pants shirt, gloves, boots, and hat. So let's learn pants and shirt. Uh, gloves, boots, and hat, they, all of those three require some height, and we don't have any. So now we can go and craft ourselves some cloth shirt and cloth pants. We need 50 fiber each, well, we need 50 for pants and 40 for shirt but we can get the campfire so let's make a campfire because it's getting night and you can see on the lower left uh, there is a little symbol as you can see in here uh, a symbol about us being cold so you really don't want to get cold too much because you will lose health so let's place down the campfire just place it on your quick bar equip it and place it down by via left click. Now we can press E on it and we can feed it with some wood to light it up. But before I will do that, I want to get a torch. Because as long as I am not really losing uh, my health, it's fine to roam around. It's just 12 degrees and Really, you can stay up in 12 degrees. It's not a really big deal. So let's get my torch. And now we can walk around and start collecting fiber, which we need for the cloth. So I'll be back when I have enough fiber. It's not going to be 
really long, but I just figured out that you really don't want to see me running around and collecting all the stuff. So, be right back. Okay, I have my uh, 90 fibers. It's dark like hell. Uh, it's raining. It's horrible, horrible weather. Uh, temperature is dropping. It's 9, which is kind of low. So what I'm going to do is actually right now I'm going to... Well, we all stand in here in the rain because I like not. So I'm going to feed some fuel. I will click on light fire. It will light it up and it will arise. As you can see, hypothermal insulation. So if I will go away from the campfire, it's at zero. If I will go near the campfire, it's going to rise and the more closer you will be, right now it's 73, if I'll get a little more closer, it's 80. So uh, the hypothermal insulation and hyperthermal, it's hypothermal and hyperthermal. Basically the thermal insulation. Uh, it's, uh, basically it's your resistance for cold. Uh, and the higher it is, the more resistance you are. So you can see, we are still, oh, we are not getting cold anymore, which is awesome. Well, we are getting a little bit cold, but it should be fine. It should be fine. Also, I have found a new berries, which are narco berries, and they are opposite of steam berries. They will um, make you sleepy, which means uh, they will give you, they will give you torpor. And they are mostly used for taming dinosaurs. Yes, you heard me. You can tame dinosaurs, but uh, not really soon. You need to basically get ready and be prepared to take down the dinosaurs and be ready that they can and will fight you back. Mostly. So uh, let's craft our cloth shirt and cloth pants. Let's equip them. So cloth shirt. As you can see, it will raise our insulation by eight and cloth pants another eight awesome so what now shall we do well actually guys i'm going to call it a quit in this first episode where we well where i showed you the main basics and next time we will hopefully oh there is a red one a uh, green one kind of close-ish, but I really don't want to go in there in the night. So in the next episode, I will try to get some food, because right now we are really low on food, and we can't really stand on uh, just uh, berries. They are good. You can find them pretty much anywhere, but really, no. I, we want some meat. We are carnivores, so we want some meat. Yes, we could kill that uh, turtle, but honestly, the turtles, even they seem derpy, they are tough to kill. So, uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode next time. So, take care, and bye-bye.